At some point in your math education, probably quite a while ago, you were introduced to graphing. And learning about graphing typically starts with making a table. And then plotting these points from the table onto a coordinate plane. And then you can draw your line or curve. Then as you advanced in your math education, you learn to recognize some of these graph trends. What are the general shapes for common types of relations? For example, it's common to start with linear relations, or straight lines. And once we learned about the equation y equals mx plus b, we were able to quickly visualize and sketch these graphs. We start with a base graph, that is, y equals x, and then we use our y-intercept, b, at the end here, to shift that line up or down, in this case, by 3. Then we use the slope, m, to decide how steep that line is, in this case, a rise over run of 2. Now, if the slope was negative, it would drop to the right, or be reflected vertically. After noting the trends in linear graphs, you probably looked at similar trends in quadratic graphs, that is, degree 2. Again, we graphed a few with tables, and then we started to appreciate the general shape of these quadratics. The base graph of a quadratic looks like this, y equals x squared. Again, we note that we can add a number out at the end here to shift the graph vertically, that is up or down. And in this case, we shift it up by 3. Adding a number in front here, much like the slope in the linear graph, it impacts how rapidly the graph increases. Also, we note that if positive, we have a big U-shape. And if negative, then we have an N-shape. Again, the graph got reflected vertically. We also learned about solutions to these relationships. And we learned that they can be recognized as X-intercepts on the graphs. Thus. A linear relationship, that is degree 1, will always have one solution. That is, it crosses the x-axis once. For quadratic relationships, that is degree equals 2, we can see that we could have zero solutions, one solution, or two solutions. So we recognize that we already have some experience with recognizing trends. The rest of this unit is all about expanding the recognition of similar trends with a large variety of different types of relationships.